Yo, what's going on, people? I'm Cody Michelle. So much for the hip hop video show, and we are here right now with our special guest, Mr. Casey Chrysler. about Casey Chrysler. Well, basically, you know, I'm just an entrepreneur, businessman, running around right now, doing a lot of things. You know, I do music. I just dropped a mixtape uh, with Jazzy Joyce. It was the first mixtape she dropped in about eight years. It's called The Legendary DJ Jazzy Joyce Presents Casey Chrysler, The Future. It did about 150,000 downloads. Yes, yeah, so it, so, it was real, real popular. It's real really popular. popping. It's yeah. like popping. It's like in the UK yeah. and all that. So a lot of people was really um, definitely um, grabbing attention to it. Uh, I performed at the people remember me from the Apollo when I performed over there. Um, I got a radio show that's on the international scale right now. It's co-hosted by my dude, um, MTV from G's the Gent, season two, A Felon. Uh, like this past week, I just had Young Money TV on the show. I had my girl from the Bad Girls Club on there. Um, and like every single week, it's a celebrity thing. I had Angela Bassett on my show. You know, I had huge how, stars on my show. How was it? Talking to Miss Angela Bassett. I mean, that's like a legendary. How was well, it talking? To, how, how is she? How, how well, is first, it talking to Angela well, Bassett? Well, first off, Angela Bassett is really a real, real woman, and uh, you know what it is. First off, just seeing her, knowing how old she is, and she doesn't look nowhere near her age. You know, and the way she rep represents herself is like wow. It's like. Now I'm just all I'm. You know what it is? I was looking at her. All I could think of how how to still get her groove back. That's all I was. <laughs> you know, no matter what she was saying, I yeah, was. Yeah, she got her groove back real well in that movie, didn't she? I I, I was feeling her groove right there in that most movie. De most definitely. So it was definitely. it was definitely it was an honor yeah. meeting Angela Bassett. Yeah, that That's same incredible. same day I had met Bilal Wallace and the whole cast of Notorious because I'm also wow. I also work with Fox Search like pitches. So um, I'm always, I just came from ATL. I'm always flying around doing stuff. All flying around doing stuff. Now you supposed to you th you're working on a lot of projects now. Yeah, working on a lot um, of projects. Like right a lot now. of projects. Um, tell us about that. Like some of the projects you're working on right now that people can know about so they can watch out for and see what's what's going on. Uh, well, right now look out for the new mixtape coming uh, with me and Superstar J. Look out for the, uh, another mixtape with me and Jazzy Joyce. I got another one <laughs> with uh, 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 DJ Lazy K, another legendary female DJ. Um, also got my dude DJ Matino, who's the head uh, DJ of Slip and Slide Europe and uh, uh, Violet of Europe. And so I'm dropping a lot of international projects. I got an album coming and an EP behind it. And I'm on two tours, including a VH1 tour that's going to kick off in January. Um, and what's the VH1 tour? What's that? What what are, what are you doing with that? Like you just you just doing like is it like just promotion stuff? You just up there with all the VH1 casting people that's with the shows or explain to people about that. What's going on with the VH1 tour? You know and um, how how's that? Okay, well basically the VH1 tour, you know, um, so I just recently signed a new management deal with Every Exposure Management. Um, and uh, uh, Sydney McDonald, who's one of the um, head editors at Unlike Magazine, Unlike Magazine is actually in control of the VH1 tour. It's actually going to be a tour that's going to be av he heavily advertised on VH1. It's not like some VH1 reality thing, but I'm actually incorporating the VH1 reality stars that I know, and I'm going to bring it onto it to make it hotter. You know, I'm also a songwriter as well, so I write R&B, I write pop, I write rock. You know, I'm a producer, I make beats, I play five instruments. You know, I'm well, a, I'm a oh, computer. you play fight. You you do that? What you you ain't Jamaican, is you? Is I'm you not Jamaican. No, I'm African American. You, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm rapping for my African. -American I thought you was Jamaican. Right I mean, that's a lot of shit. See, you yeah. the one. That, that's why there ain't no jobs out there because you taking up all of them. Well, man. I'm definitely. You gotta get, you I'm gotta get somebody a chance, man. You, you think well, they they got a chance. I'm trying. Like I, I'm trying to be the next Diddy, Jay Z. I'm. You know what? You know what I tell artists. You know, a lot of artists. There's a lot of artists out there. A lot of competition. You know, uh, a record deal to me. Uh, I don't know if uh, you, I don't know if you've um, followed my radio show, but about two months ago, I had an A&R by the name of Wise McGriff. He's um, the A&R from Def Jam, and also the VP of A&R is at um, Murder Inc. That's Curly in the Inc. That came on my show, and um, just out the blue, offered me a record deal on air. He's wow. the same guy. He's the same guy that signed Neon LL Cool J. Um, it sounded all sweet until we saw the paper, and I didn't, I didn't like it because I, I. I don't think it's all about signing a record deal. It's all right. about it's about signing when you're ready and having the the following and everything set. So when you sign a record deal, they have to give you the right numbers and they could, and your the contract is the way you would like it to be, and not just because you're so excited to be signed. Because right. I, I could tell you, I have so many friends that are signing labels and friends that have been dropped off labels that made those wrong decisions just because they just wanted to be signed. You know, if you look at the biggest artists, they turned down deals and they negotiated deals. Like they, I was just watching Behind the Music on with Ti. He he was signed to Arista, then got dropped, and went to Atlanta. He had so many offers on the table because right. you can't just grab the first one. Because you know, no matter how hot you are, you know, 
you can get dropped. Because yeah. the labels look at you as an investment. You know, the bottom line is, if uh, you're singing, you're making hot songs, but I'm singing making hot songs, but I'm writing for him, and I'm also producing for him, and then I have a clothing line getting ready to come out, they, they're looking at all that. They're like, you know what? We can make more money off of this guy. Right. Because even if he doesn't sell music, he has a lot of other alternative ways to make money for us. Right, exactly. And exactly. the bottom line is, the music industry is in a is in a, uh, a situation at this point that I don't the I don't think the labels know what's gonna sell right now. When you have music, when you put when you can um look at the numbers and see that a Jay Z record is is just as popular as a Soldier Boy record. Not taking anything from Soldier Boy, but it's a, it's a different it's a different talent level and it's clearly different kind of music. And for them to the same fans that like Jay Z to like Soldier Boy, it just shows that the, the music industry right now is at a confusing point. You know, and it, it even they probably artists that you probably wouldn't think to make it. You know, they they doing the stanky leg and they getting their hits. You know. And how do, I mean, how do you feel about that? Like music today as opposed to music a long time ago? Because I feel you know I'm on school. I'm almost 31 and. Music today is just like, it ain't like it was back mm -hmm. then, you know, it's more about like the look and it ain't more about, it ain't about words, like how back in the day it was about words, it wasn't even about look. I mean, how do you feel about that, you being a producer and writing and all that stuff? How do you, how do you feel about the music today? I feel like just the music, I just, you know, at first I was upset with it, but then I just noticed that just like, you know, 10 years ago and 10 years prior to that and 10 years prior to that, the music just uh, goes through a constant evolution. And um, I think that uh, everybody has their time for that point of that, that music that you're making. You know, like just, I hate going back to Soulja Boy. If Soulja Boy couldn't have came out ten years ago, you know, right. just like yeah. just like Lil exactly. Wayne couldn't have came out ten years ago. No matter how hot people say he is now, he couldn't have came out ten years ago with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Weezy, you already know, Young Money, Cash Money, you already know. Right, Fuck exactly. with y'all. But music right now is just in a stage that those particular artists are just hot for the moment. Well, I, I know you on Twitter, everything and stuff like yeah, that. You know, let let, let yeah. them know like how people can get in touch with you, where they get your music, what's coming out. Uh, let them know. Well, most definitely, you can um, stay up with me on KCChrysler.com. Um, also, follow the CelebrityCentral.com. They're um, fully sponsored and endorsing me right now. Um, definitely, uh, partner. I just partnered up with Young Money TV, so you're gonna um, definitely be able to follow me on there. But basically, everything is just KC Chrysler. It's K A C Y Chrysler. Like the car, Google it. It's really you know. It's not like you have to look for me on Google, like literally everything is me. Images, everything, you know? So I just have, I'm just grinding really hard. There's no way you can't find me. If you can't find me, then you're not looking for me. My aim is just Casey Chrysler. Everything is just Casey Chrysler. Email is Casey Chrysler at CaseyChrysler.com. Like, it's so simple. Just, just Casey Chrysler. Just Casey Chrysler. Casey Chrysler. If you can't find that, then you need to go back to it. Just Casey Chrysler. It's, it's, this is the man right here. Y'all seen it here first, right here, <laughs> on So Much Real Hip Hop video show, Cody Michelle, Casey Chrysler. Do you got soul?